Jeff Gersman. Hello, Dan Reichert. I am in a great mood right now. Really? Yes. Why is that? You know that feeling when something that wasn't really on your radar at all comes along, and then you realize, like, holy shit, this is something I'm really going to like and it's really going to play It's something you're very gung-ho about. That was pretty good there. Thank you. Folks at home, if you can see the bottom of the screen, this is by Gung Ho Online Entertainment. It's uh, Puzzle and Dragons, which apparently is a big thing in Asian countries. Uh, yeah, Puzzle and Dragons is, uh, I think it's, it's relatively big all over the world, but yeah, it seems like it was gigantic in Japan and all that other stuff. Yeah, I looked it up. I guess they had like 32 million downloads in Asian countries and like 41 worldwide. Like, this is a big thing I had not heard about until Nintendo announced they were doing this collaboration. I played it for about three or so hours today, uh -huh. and I love this. I, uh, I really, really, really like this game, and I, I can already tell this is going to be something I spend like... 50, 100 hours on. Yeah. Like, I'm really getting hooked. And that's just, so this this is, this is package has this Mario edition Puzzle and Dragons, but also has Puzzle and Dragons Z. Exactly, yeah. Which is kind of, uh, uh, you know, not not the Nintendo characters, a little more, a little closer to kind of their standard thing. Yep, and, and uh, we'll spend most of the time here showing off kind of the Mario stuff, because yeah, that's yeah. what I've played the most, but uh -huh. we'll, we'll dip in at the end. Because cool, the other one seems very different, actually. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is the Mario one. I'm on World 2-1. Oh, actually, that's what we're going to show off. I'm a little further, but uh, it's getting a little hard. I was so, going to say, yeah, like I'm at, I'm at the end of World 1, and I've not been playing for as, as long as you have, so I would hope you'd be a little bit deeper in than that. Yes. Yeah. So, Ice uh, power, what? I'm going to start by showing uh, just what the basic gameplay is like, like a basic dungeon or level here, and uh, and then we will get into kind of all the different mechanics and features. There's a lot of stuff happening in this game. It spends the entirety of the first world more or less kind of like running things down for you like hey here's how the elemental affinities work hey here's a you feed guys to other guys to yep. power them up and it's well, weird because this is like you think about this as a mobile game as something that would have like these free-to-play hooks in it but that's not like that you know obviously they probably had to like rejigger the economy of it all quite a bit yeah to, to work here uh but it seems like it works pretty well. Oh, it, it seems to be working great, and, and the free-to-play stuff, since, I mean, obviously this is just a package you buy. And this is a cartridge, yeah. We, yeah. We, it's, it's not a, yeah. It, it's to, nice to, to know clarify that. clarify for people. It's a, it's a damn cartridge you buy at a store. Yeah, you got it all right there on the cart. Uh, so right here you can see in this dungeon, there's going to be four colors here, um, which, you know, you've got the kind of basic Pokemon, like, you know, wood is vulnerable to fire, fire is vulnerable to water, kind of the triangular thing. Yeah. There's also light and dark. Uh, we're not going to get into the dark stuff in this course. So it'll show you here, I'm going to have enemies uh, of those four different types down there. You see on the, on the bottom yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, you get your, your kind of, your your fire Koopa with the red, the red background, I guess, signifies fire, like the fire element, right? Yep. Okay. And so I'm going to build a team that will be good for uh, basically what I'm going to face here. So you can see down here, I'm going to see like a couple fire guys. We've got mm -hmm. a, a paratrooper that also has light uh, attacks. Yeah. i uh, got a dark guy. Uh, so, okay. So basically, I'll definitely need some water since there's at least two fire enemies here. Um, so you can go in with a very well-rounded team, or you can be like, shit, if this is going to be all water enemies, I need to do all, you know, wood dudes or yeah, whatever. Yeah, through, through the first world, I've been keeping it pretty uh, evenly split uh, well, for the most part. Well, here, I'm going to make sure i got enough water. So Ice Mario here, who I've got as a leader, uh, he has water and fire. Okay. And he's got this leader skill. It's kind of a passive skill. So, like, any water team members are going to have 1.5 times damage. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to have a pretty water uh, heavy team here. So I go to my allies. Got that water. <laughs> I got, you, you can see uh, this is kind of my stable right now. It's yeah. kind of uh -huh. always growing as you defeat new things. So I got a, a nice level nine uh, Koopa Troopa here. Put him in place of that Goomba. I got a Cheep Cheep here. Uh, so they all have kind of these skills too. So you see this Cheep Cheep, cheep has a heal bubble. Yeah. And uh, so that it'll heal a thousand HP and turns all the wood orbs into heart orbs, mm -hmm. which and will it, heal you. Yeah, and it looks like the skills level up as well. Yes, so that, that's another thing we'll show after I go through the main Great. dungeon okay. here. So right now that skill's at a level one, and you see that 11 next to it, that means I have to go through 11 turns before I can use that. So okay, that'll probably be pretty yeah. late on, like maybe a boss fight, I'll have enough yeah, turns will yeah. go. But if I level it up, maybe it'll take nine turns, hmm. you know, something like that. Got it. So we've got a lot of water going on here. Let's make it a little well-rounded in case other guys show up. Um, we'll get at least one light guy in here. I got this Koopa Troopa. Actually, you know what? Let's see, can I put... Oh, he's already in there. So this guy here that I'm moving around, he has got water and light. Yeah. Because uh, I transformed him from a Koopa. Like, you get items and stuff, right, as you be dungeons. And so I transformed him into this flying thing that has two elementals now. So it looks like the only thing we're light on right now, since there's not going to be dark enemies... A Koopa Paratroopa, perhaps. One of these guys, you think? No, I'm saying you already got one of those in that you, you morphed him into. It's, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I mean, you're, you're, I don't you're, have any you're wood. weak on wood. So let's go uh, this, this badass Goomba here. 
Put him right in there. That looks like a good team, don't you think? Sure. I like that like, the first thing that happened in this game is it said, you got a Goomba. And I'm like, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, he's my Goomba. All right, so now we got, uh, yeah, you get a whole stable of, like, baggage. So, like, oh, I got I got piranha plants. I got paratroopers and buzzy beetles and bloopers. Like, they're working for me. Yeah. They're my guys. Yeah, they're part of your crew here. Yeah. So I'm going to save that. That's my team six. Um, that is what I'm going to use specifically for this. But then also, you pick a helper character, uh, which they just kind of help, uh, you know, they'll attack just like anything else. Uh, but they also have helper skills. So, like, if I pick this one... He's got this uh, skill to where he can turn light orbs into heart orbs, but also the passive skill, the helper skill, where he can raise all these stats for my dark team members. Yeah, but you don't have any dark in there, do you? Yeah, so I'm not going to use him, although I could bring him in if I just want to at attack with dark. But uh, dark right, is not yeah, one of the yeah, orbs like here. He, he's still an attacker. He's, he's yeah. that question mark slot at the end of your team up there. Because let's say you don't put any blue guys in at all, uh -huh. any water guys. Yeah. When you match up the blue orbs, you're not going to attack. Like nothing happens. Exactly. Yeah. So um, let's just get some more fire in there because fire seems pretty underrepresented. All right, my red toad. He's coming in. Uh, that all looks pretty good. That's a good team. All right, and also help characters transfer via street pass, it seems like. Yes. Uh, yes, and so I, I think we've actually street passed just since we're both playing the game. Yeah. And so, like, I can pick who I send out as my street pass guy. So, here we go. we got a couple uh, dark dudes here, Buzzy Beetles, and mm -hmm. that number above them shows when they're going to attack. So, the one on the right is going to attack in one turn. So, right after I do this turn, he's going to attack. He'll go, unless you happen to kill him. Right, and you can actually pick who you're focusing attacks on. Oh, so how do you do that? That is the circle pad. Man, okay. So you can attack one, but if you match more than five or five or more, it will attack everyone. Right, okay, yes. Yeah. So that's yes, just clarify that. If you match more than five of the same orb, yeah, down so there, like that five, changes your attack into a group attack instead of a single attack. Yeah, so if I get five greens together, boom, it's gonna hit wood uh, stuff against yeah, everyone. You will get wood. Exactly. So here's the weird thing. Instead of standard match three, it's going to be really hard to kind of describe without moving stuff around because once yeah. I start moving, luckily Puzzle and Dragon pretty pop. Oh, your timer's already moving. Oh, but yeah. if you, if you oh, right put it back in the, oh shit, oh, no, actually that, never mind. Yeah, that burns a turn. You screw <laughs> okay, it. okay. So it, it's you can move. Yeah. So watch what I'm. I'm, I'm going to do something, and then I'll try to explain what I just He'll did. He'll pick up one and start moving it around like that. You see. So there, I made five. Yeah. And so you can set up a bunch of crazy combos on the way to the final destination. Yeah, so you move around with purpose. You're not just swirling around like a crazy person. Well, exactly. maybe, you're, I mean, I am, but maybe, you know, you're not. Uh, you can move things around to try to position the board to your favor before you set the last thing down. Like that. Like, look at that. I just set up a bunch of green yeah. stuff. But I only have, what, that one green attacker, but the blues that I set up, yeah. all four of those guys are doing that. They're damage. also going. So, <laughs> boom, done. So when I lined up all of those stars, I lined up five in a row, which is nice, but I only have that one paratrooper that has any star power whatsoever. Yeah. So it didn't really do that much. So watch this. If I try to line up blue, let's see, what's a smart way of doing this? Um, I'm going to try to move this, and then this, and then this, and then look at that. Yep. And then he's going to get fucked up real bad here. And I got a star stuff in there, too. So, fuck you. Yeah, and then if some combos happen along the way, then that starts to multiply everything. It starts to just compound itself in a really crazy way and all of a sudden it's just it's making cool noises and everyone's blowing up and yep. it's great so here so here uh, will be an item so it could be a p-wing or something which will be something used to transform someone into a right. paratrooper or whatever yeah um so to get this open i need to get four blues in a row um, and you so have three seems... turns to do it so it's actually not hard Watch this. At all. But yes bam you will need one turn got it so that's 10 coins. Actually, I have not yet unlocked whatever the coins do. Yeah, same here. I, I don't know. Yeah, no Obviously, idea. that's going to come into play. So that fire guy is screwed. I'm going to focus attack on him. And, well, actually, there's not much blue on the board. Let's see if there's much I can do here. Mm, that's about the best I can do with that. That might do the trick. You've got enough, yeah, you've yeah, got enough you. people doing blue damage in there to, to handle it. Whereas now, he's weak against Star, but again, I could even set up like a big-ass Star thing, but that's not going to do that much yeah, because it's just that one guy. Well, and the, actually, shit, yeah, the wood got that the... I accidentally set up. Yeah, that's going to do way more damage. Yeah. You win anyway. That's been my experience so far early on is yeah. there's been a lot of like you win anyway moments. of like, oh, geez, okay, Definitely nice. early on. Yes, the first world has been... Like I said, practically all tutorial, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm near the end of the second world right now, and it is getting... Uh, like I, I've failed several times in dungeons yeah. and had to really assess how I wanted to set up my team. Yeah. yeah. And, I, uh, I am so thrilled with this, like, the, the, the gameplay here. Because I went into this thinking, like, 
you know, not really knowing Puzzle and Dragons and thinking that this was just going to be like a standard match three, but this whole system of like th what you're doing there and, yeah. and laying it down, like makes this rad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and I, it makes I, it feel pretty different from, you know, Puzzle Quest and like a lot of the other kind of match threes plus RPGs. Well, because there's just a billion match three games and there's only so many things you can do to kind of shake up that formula. Sure. This is one of the first match threes in so long that I think really fucking shakes things up. Yeah, and I, I bet like on some level like there are probably not not only is there Puzzle and Dragons, but I bet there's like a zillion knockoffs of that on iOS. Oh, I'm sure. That yeah. we just haven't seen that that probably do exactly this. But yeah, man, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. Okay, so water would be great, but there's only two water things on the board, so there's not a lot I can do yeah, there. Yeah, you got a lot of fire here. I do. They are fire, so I mean, it will hurt them. It just won't do that much. Um, let's see if I can get a bunch of shit over here and then do that. That That's a lot of fire. You could have got six fire there. Ah, oh, shit, I should have gone Because they don't match as soon as you match three while you're still taking your turn, you know? You can... Right, right. You can you can get a full a full row across. Uh, yeah, full row across. Kind of cool. Shit, I should be getting some uh, skills pretty soon. Which the skills might be like, hey, turn all stars into water things. Right. Yeah. It's like, oh fuck you, you're fucked after mm -hmm. that because they're you know weak against that and yeah, I'm for yeah. water guys. Um, but for now, let's just let's do what I can with the water. Move that up there. Move this here and then there. So that should that should hurt them pretty bad. Yeah. Yep. Good night. All right. Yeah. So dead. That's oh, now all now, my skills now pop. Now all the skills pop. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, so let's let's show some of the kind of outside the gameplay features here, and then yeah. I'll go so to a harder the, level. The skill things reset uh, on a course level, so it's like the the board and everything carries from fight to fight through the course. But now when you go back in, you'll have to do the eleven turns again or whatever to unlock that other stuff. It's kind of. Mm -hmm. I got a buzzy beetle. You got a buzzy beetle. I got a level four buzzy beetle is working for me now. That's not bad. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to jump into uh, when you go to a toad house is when you can kind of do some more stuff with your team and your allies and Yeah, everything. I kind of wish, you know, like the, actually like, because they let you set up these six preset teams, but I don't really want to do that because I don't have enough guys. Like I kind of have one team, maybe two right now. You will need more. So it's, yeah, 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 totally. But like right now I'm kind of feeding guys to other guys and kind of making powerful stuff. Well, that's what, uh, so this power up thing here, um... That, that, that's what you're talking about. And you can actually and, sort I, I, them. It's what, it's what I'm saying is, like, I wish you didn't have to go to the Toad House for some of this stuff. Because it was stuff that, like, right before a fight, I'd rather just, like, drag guys up there and go, here's who I want. Oh, Rather right, than right. having preset teams, that just seems, like, needless. Right, right. Um, but you, you can see here, like, you see the, the Mario little token? That means they're on one of my teams. Um, so let's say, like, somebody that I need to use. Like, let's say that uh, Ice Mario there. I'm using him a lot. Let's say I want to power him up. I can pick him. Hit OK, and then if you see here, I have a lot of these low-level Buzzy Beetles. So, yep. you know what? You are dead. I am feeding you to Ice Mario. And now he is getting your soul. Mm-hmm. And becoming uh, stronger. He, well, yeah. well, you know he, what? I, he didn't even make it to level 6, but that's... Well, you know what? I'm going to feed him a level 4 Fire Koopa. Okay. Just to make sure he gets the, uh, the full level up. Got a lot of these level 4 guys. Get out of here. I don't need you. He ate that turtle. He did. All right. So now he's leveled up his stuff here. Um, so that's one thing you can do here. Uh, it seems pretty important. As you keep getting these lower level guys, it's a way to make use of them. Yeah, yeah. So this is transformed. Do you have this yet? Yeah. So this is pretty cool, too. So I don't know if I have enough. Oh, I do. Okay. So let's say, hmm, who do I want to level up? So I could level up like this guy here, my level nine Koopa. Yeah. But he's level nine, and when you level him up, it takes him down to level one. No, it takes their skill down to level one. Oh, it's just the skill? Yeah. You just taught me something there. So in that case, if I can make this level 11 Goomba a... Oh, my God. So, yeah, I need so three, the, two P, P I wings. I should say that I did that, and that's, that seemed to be the case. Is it reset the skill to level one, but all my skills were level one, so I didn't care. Yeah, and this guy's skill is level one anyway, so that's the case. And oh. also, like, where you're at right now, if you brought him in low level, he'd be gaining level so fast, he'd be right back up there in no time. Right, right. Uh, well, let's just try this here. We're going to take this level 11. He'll be 20 times wood damage oh, instead of man. 10. It's, and also, his max level goes up from 25 to 50, uh, so you can level, you know, his theoretical maximum is higher. Yeah. Uh, but also, if you head over to the right there, and so it looks oh, like yeah. you know Goombas can be transformed into multiple things. Yeah, uh, which is kind of cool. That's you get that cool. little double stack there. That's cool. Uh, uh, I cannot do that yet. Yeah, but... I've not seen any of the coins. Like there is a cheap, cheap coin, so you can have like a turtle riding a cheap, cheap, which is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna make him eat these pee wings. 
So here you go. The skill will change in its level. Oh, the skills level. The phrasing seemed yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, it changes the skill from right. 10x to 20x. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Put it in those pipes. Out comes a flying Goomba. Paragoomba. Yeah, and so you were talking about the different ways they could level up. So, like, let's take a look at, uh, well, I, hmm. Maybe I can't even look at the possibilities if, uh, wait, can I? No, you can hit select and... Okay, yeah. yeah. So, if I had four boom nice. mushrooms, I got a dry, bone, dry bones buzzy beetle. What? A bony beetle. Bony, a bony beetle, yeah. Or, if I fed him those pea wings, he turns into a para beetle. Those guys are jerks. Yeah, they are. Well, you can stand on them and fly around. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. It seems like, you know, I don't know, we, I'm only in World 2, uh, you're at the end of World 1. Yeah. It yeah. looks like there's eight worlds. I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of new, uh, well, actually, shit, let's, uh, let's take a look. There was a piranha plant I had there. What can you do, buddy? Turn into a fire flower? Okay, naturally. Or no, that can makes turn sense. into a fire piranha plant. Oh, right, yeah. Or a bone piranha plant what? with poison mushrooms. Oh, man. So, um, let's just go back, uh, let's go to the current level I'm at right now and see if I can and get it looks that. like there might be like 300 different things here or something, like, you, you know. Yeah, uh, let's see, if I go to the menu, I can go to the ally box, and yeah, 32 out of 300. Um, but is that just, is, is that showing multiples of the same oh. thing? Is that, or is that just, that's the maximum number of allies you can have, not oh, necessarily, you know what? okay. You know what, that is Never the case, because okay, I am seeing so, multiple So maybe, maybe it's not 300 different variants. That's how much you can carry. Okay, so. got it. It almost feels like there's a little bit of Pokemon in here, like collecting these things and evolving them and stuff like that. Um, let's see, items, okay, so that shows you exactly what you have as far as transforming. Uh, star coins are what you use to level up your skills, which I guess I should show that real quick um, from the Toad House. Um, you can pretty. Oh, so you don't. Okay, so I originally thought maybe you would level up the skills by using them, but so no. but I have I have not. You actually okay, go here. I have not unlocked this yet. Got it. Yeah. So you level this up. Let's see if anything's available. Um. So that that uh, that Paragumba skill, the twenty times wood, that's like matching twenty wood without matching anything, and it just does the damage immediately before your turn. It's actually yeah. pretty useful. Yeah. Super useful. So if I had two gold mushrooms here, I could level up uh, the skills, and then it would be oh. ten instead of twelve. Or oh, whatever. so it's not even star coins. It's oh, okay. I thought maybe it was just star coins were a universal currency for that. But oh, wow. okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, but then there's other stuff I haven't even unlocked yet. This awaken thing, I have no idea what this is. Uh, it, there are skills that are you know that, that it looks like that some creatures will gain a second skill. Yeah. If they awaken. Yep. Yep. It'll um, say like leader skill or whatever, and then awoken skill. You're right. Yeah. It's like oh, so, I don't know what that is. Crazy. Um, so yeah, let's also just a really weird concept for Mario. Yes, which Mario has awoken. I'm kind of way into this. I hope he just goes Super Saiyan or something. <laughs> so this is uh, I have not been to this level yet. This will be my first time playing it. So it looks like we got a couple uh, wood types here. So I'll need some fire and then maybe some dark and light here. There's also P wing in there. I want that. So let's go in. With that hammer brother being kind of grayed out a little bit, does it, do you think that means you can't have a hammer br brother on your team? Oh, oh! So like maybe I could capture these other three, but not that hammer. Like brother? sometimes the boxes pop in the middle of a fight, and you'll you know turn into a, a yeah. creature at the end. But I wonder if maybe I want a hammer brother on my team, and if you can't do that, then then everything we said about this game is moot. Because screw it. I, I am not sure about that. All right. I think this this preset team. This is my all around team. I've got my number yeah. one team. So I've got kind of everything covered. Like all of my dual layered guys. Like all those guys have star power except uh -huh. for the beetle. Um, and then we got fire in there. We got one water. We're a little weak on water and wood, but I can bring in a helper to kind of help that out. You need a wood and water rage for your helper character here. Let's see, let's, uh, let's see what I can bring in. Um, well, the only split one I have. Oh, is this? Oh man, is Fox Luigi like double wood? <laughs> oh man, I kind of want to bring in double wood Luigi. Here. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, he's brand new. I just got him in the last level. He's at level one. Uh, he's level four there, the looks of it. Oh, his skill is level one. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, his leader skill raises attack and HP of wood team members by 1.5 times. That seems like something that would be nice. I don't remember how many wood guys... You didn't I... have a lot of wood in there. I only had that one Goomba, okay. But, but, you know, that would... For him, as a wood character, he would benefit. Yeah. Well, so, this red toad raises all that stuff for my fire team members. Yeah. Which, technically, I've got two guys there with fire. Mm -hmm. And also, toad is fire. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just gonna go with. You know what? I'll give Double Wood Luigi a shot. Yeah. I mean, you know, at bare minimum, you'd be leveling him up. Yeah. Which yeah. Would be seems useful. Let's confirm it. That's my team. I'm going in with. All right. Sticking with him. Fairly well rounded. Not too lopsided. So that's the thing. If I went through this dungeon and I realized like, oh man, everyone's a water enemy. Yeah. I'd go back in and I'd be like, all right, well, I'm going in there with nothing but uh, what hurts water. Wood. 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 Right. Yeah. 
All right, so um, there's a lot of stars on the board, and I got a lot of star dudes. So let's uh, let's do this. That's gonna hurt him real bad. Yeah, that guy's dead. And I have that box now. So I got some XP and a water block, so I'll get a water type uh, buddy. All right, so, so now you got a pipe here. So I can decide here. I can go to the map, and I can see, like, well, I can either go straight forward with that sign, or I can go down the pipe and see what's going on down there. Let's go down the pipe. So that just means since it's red, I just need to match some red stuff, and then I'll go down there. Yeah, if you accidentally match more of the other thing in your combo there, then it, it sends you whatever direction and ends up with more at yep. the end there. Let's do some fire crap here. Um, we'll do that and that and get that in there. Yeah, that'll that'll do the trick. So yeah, yeah this shit will happen. These guys are all dead. These guys are all dead. Yeah, everything dead. is dead. <laughs> Which this is a great feeling yeah. when like you just see stuff all building yeah. up. It's like oh you're so fucked. All right, cool. I kind of like at the bottom. It's just like a little Mario level that he's going through. <laughs> uh, oh, so now uh, yeah, because okay. he went down the pipe. There's usually you know some kind of bonusy thing down the pipe. So yeah. Look at that. I need five. I gave him six. There you go. Ten coins. No problem. This also seems so good for just, like, if you're trying to play something quick on a bus or something. Like yeah. Just do well, one of these. You can kind of close at any time, too. It's, you know. Let's see. So some fire stuff would be good. Let's see if I can get this fire over here fast enough. Yep. Eat it. One thing I'll say oh. is that this game would really benefit from a left-hander mode because oh. I can't see the timer ticking down when I play. Oh. That's something I had not, never thought of. Mm. Huh, I can see that. Uh, and it doesn't seem to have that in the options. Huh, that seems disappointing. I'm doing pretty good here, Jeff. Yeah. I got a full health bar, mm -hmm. kind of killing everything You're real cruising. quick. Oh, boss fight. Alrighty, here we go. So every uh, like dungeon or level or whatever ends with the boss fight, which it's the uh, the guy in the middle is the boss. So yeah, yeah. I can decide if I want to like target these buzzy beetles and get them out of here. So yeah, let's try to do uh, let's do some star damage to try to really mess up those uh, buzzy beetles. There we go. Yeah. Oh man, that didn't do that much. Those guys are savage. Oh man. Oh, so he's doing. Oh, I hate this crap. So any of my light characters are now frozen for two turns. Uh, so that's the big problem with bringing in two yeah, four light guys. Yeah, you have that's an issue now. So if they kill, kill me, I know going back in, like maybe don't completely load up on yeah, light guys. Yeah. Uh, but my skills will be popping here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. You so. got a lot of wood on the board. Yeah, so let's uh, let's do some wood stuff. There we go. That's a lot of wood going on. But really, the only one that can do anything about it. Oh, double wood Luigi. Yeah. This is where he comes into play. Oh my God, carrying his weight. Uh, but oh, I'm getting attacked bad here. Oh boy. All okay. Right, all right. I, I need some not skills that many or something hearts here. On the board here, and your skills have not oh, activated. Boy. Oh boy, this is rough. Hit, okay. Hit, go to the skill menu and kind of see how many turns you got here. You, that's not gonna. That's, oh, this is all bad. Those stuff. are not happening anytime soon. Oh boy. Um, I need to do what I can with these hearts. Uh, I'm gonna try. Oh boy. Take it. Yeah. There you go. Uh, man, that's about all I can muster there. Mm. I got some combo stuff. It'll help. Double wood. Okay. With with the cronies out of the way, that'll help. Any my other guys. Okay, so now I need to attack with some star power. Oh shit! There's no stars there. Oh, this is no good. Um, I, okay, I can maybe line up a five heart thing. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Uh, there we go. That'll help me a lot. And get some fire out there. Oh, combo stuff. Oh my god. Yep. This all is, right. This okay. is all good. Everybody reactivated there. And oh now... boy. Yep. Yep. And they're making it happen. All right. I got some health. We only got one guy left. Oh, I think he's done for now. All right, what's the strongest attack I can do here? Yeah, There's... It looks like you got a lot of fire out there. You got a decent number of stars, too. I think star is kind of the way to go. There's a bunch of water, but I don't have well, any... Well, you know, grab a star and then drag some fire together along the way. And... Okay, I'll try that. Um... Oh, boy. Let's just... You kind of got to wing it sometimes with these. Oh, I meant to get the... Well, that'll... this will probably help. Mm, eat it. Yeah. All right. He's dead. It's super satisfying when something really works out in this game. Yeah. I'm glad you told me about that on actually resetting the character's level. Because yeah, now I got a badass Paragon yeah, guy. Yeah, that guy could fly. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got a water block, and we'll see what that turns into here. That'll turn into like a water Koopa. Yeah. Cool. Level two. So, um, that's kind of the, the basic stuff of the Mario section of this, which this seems like a pretty hefty package in itself. Yeah. Like, I, I would play the shit out of this even if it was just that. But there's a whole second half to this game here, which I will back out to. 
Um, so I can save and uh, actually I'll show you real quick here. You can go to your player card here and you can set uh, like what your helper is here. So let's see who's powerful now. Um, so I got that guy. That's not super exciting. Ice Mario is pretty exciting. S dude, send out Ice Mario. Let's street pass. All right. Maybe I can get me an Ice Mario. All right. So that guy's going to go out to anyone I street pass with this game. And then you can bring him in to, to help out with your team anytime. Trade player cards. I've not seen this yet. Oh, wow. That's if we want to do. The actual okay. trading. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could bust open. My br I have my 3DS here, but I don't want to trade anything with you. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. I wonder, yeah. Puzzle friend list. I don't know what that would even be. But. Yeah. Not sure yet. Um, but yeah, let's save and exit out of here. Save and quit. I assume that this little egg cat thing is a puzzle and dragon thing. He's not a Mario character. So we will go over here to Puzzle and Dragon Z. Uh, so this I am I'm way earlier on. Yeah. Actually, this has a what? I literally just played. Well, that that's my, maybe not save data. That oh, it probably is save data. What? Okay, I played like 45 minutes. Hmm. Extra data. Okay. So maybe it's just saving out some additional stuff to the SD card and you can still continue? Yeah. Okay, I think we're good then. Whew, okay, I was kind of worried about that. So, this actually takes a while to get going, and then I'm surprised to learn this is total RPG stuff going on Oh, here. wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, you're like running around talking to people, doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of story stuff early Look at on. you running around free as you please. That's me. The B button would just tangle up his legs, something fierce. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you can, you know... Use B and stuff to run around. Uh, a lot of these things I've seen, uh, like the monster box. I've only got these like three starter guys here. Yeah. But like all the controls and stuff seem very similar. Uh, one of the big differences I've seen is the way skills uh, activate in battles, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of crazy. It's totally different. So these are the, yeah, that's nuts. I totally figured it was just going to be like reskin type stuff. Me too. And wow, it's totally yeah, because they made the Mario one more like a Mario kind of classic thing here. So look at this world map here. Uh huh. Okay. This whole thing here. So I'm going to go here to a uh, Horai area, which uh, this bad guy has broken out parts of the Earth into puzzle pieces, and so you have to go get world piece. Okay. P, P I E C E. Of course. Yes. So uh, I'm going to go into Verdant Plains here, which is, uh, I guess I'm going to fill in this puzzle piece of land. So I beat this one here. I'm going into Adventurer Plains now. Um, picking my team. Again, right now I just have these, these basic dudes here. My leader is this, this fire guy. And then the helper, it seems to just kind of auto populate, like, oh, here's other adventurer, like, AI characters. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah. obviously I'm going to go with one of these level 13. Aaron and Harry know how to raise their pets. Uh, we'll go with this cool-looking turtle thing. All right, I'm going to steal Harry's turtle. Chrono turtle. Chrono turtle. Yeah. Mutant type. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, same thing. Leader skills, helper skills, all of these things mm -hmm. carry over. All the different types, you know, the way they all... What's weak against weak is all the same. Uh, but, yeah, it is weird seeing this story stuff in this world map that just kind of changes yeah, everything. Yeah, up. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, here, I mean, this will look really familiar. Looks like you have skills all already. Uh, yes, yeah. so you see on the bottom right of the top screen, I've got two out of five. Uh -huh. So I can use anything. That's like a currency. Oh, so okay. these, uh, so it says on the side there, it takes two yeah. to use those. That one's grayed out because it's a healing spell and I'm not hurt. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I need to use it yet against these scrubs. But you get these uh, crazy ones here that are like triple. So that'll like triple the attack. That's power. in the Mario one as well. Yep, the, yep. The glowing, we didn't see any last ones, time, yeah. but they're there. So yeah, that really fucked that thing up. Let's see if I can take out both of these before they can even attack. So I would need to do over five. That would be weak against fire. Uh, ooh, this might be might be tricky. Let's let's try it. Oh, it's not tricky. Not, like, oh, not, hell, not, let's go for yeah, six. Not actually that hard. There we go. It does require a lot of like looking at the board and planning yeah, ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Once you start but once moving, you start moving, it, yeah, it's. Oh, they're fucked. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This, these things are dead. <laughs> and I got the sweet level thirteen Suck turtle it, over woodsy. here. <laughs> So same thing here. Instead of the little like Mario level on the bottom screen, you're getting this kind of path. And so, oh, I'm gonna get to get oh, a treasure okay, chest yeah, thing sure, here. Sure. Oh, so okay, I need to get six combos in three turns, basically here. So let's uh, let's do this and then bring this around. And I have to get at least two, three. Oh my! Oh my! Look at this! Oh, one turn. Well, done. Oh, oh my god! Done. Oh my god! Done. Oh my god! Done. Ten. Ten. Yes. Oh my god! This game feels real good sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. I got a 100 Voight cube. Is that Volt? Did it say Voight? Volt? I thought it said I, Voight. Like John, I got 100 John Voights in that cube. Yep, a lot of John Voights. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot of crap going on on here. Uh, 
these guys are not especially weak to green, but I feel like it'd be a shame to not go crazy Well, that's the thing is, your board this. stays, uh... Wow, yeah. This is gonna fuck them up. Your, your board is consistent from fight to fight, so in some cases it might be worth saving some of that stuff for the next battle if you think right. you might need it. Or I can just murder them and turn them or, into puzzle yeah, pieces. you could just, yeah, yeah, completely eradicate them. Got some woodsy chips. They turned into puzzle pieces. They turned into puzzles, not dragons. Lucky for you. All right. Oh, okay. So five combos. Let's see if we can. I don't know if I can top that last performance. Uh, let's do this, and then we'll go over here, and that'll get a green one. And then if we go over here, oh, okay, 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 I'll take it. So do you just get one more point for your skills per turn? Because you're five of five now. Uh, it 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 fills up that meter. You see that kind of like orange meter down yeah, there? Every yeah. time that fills up, like I'm maxed out. Here. Yeah. So let's go ahead. We got three guys here. Let's use this. Four guys. Okay. We're gonna see what we can do. Flame Breath, what will you do? Uh, three times fire damage to all foes. That sounds great. Uh, lowers defense of all foes for three turns. That seems good for like a boss fight. Time Spring stops time to let me move orbs freely for 12 seconds. Whoa. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just hit everyone with fire. Yeah. That yep, fuck you. <laughs> yep. Well, Turn into puzzle pieces. You didn't even have to move an orb. Yeah, that's pretty great. So now boss fight. Yeah, your guys leveled up, and yeah. Get some more woodsy chips. That's the thing, like, it seems like there's a whole goddamn game here, and I just want to, like, do all the Mario stuff, and then I'm going to move on to this mm -hmm. one, instead of balance two things. It uh -oh. seems like that's the, the Mario one they, they kind of say on that title screen, is like, hey, it's a little bit easier, kind of yep. get, get going with this one, and then maybe graduate into standard... Which, Puzzle and Dragons. Talk about a great way to ease people into this thing that's huge overseas. Because, like, I'd never heard of Puzzle and Dragons. If I just heard, oh, mobile game that's huge right. in Asia. You would have been like, Whatever. What the fuck is this? Yeah, but match like, three mobile like game. Like, putting Mario into it in a meaningful way then kind of turns it, oh turns everything around. Oh, yeah, Syrup was my little dragon. But, yeah, Mario helped get me in. And also the, having the Mario thing be kind of a big tutorial of how of what Puzzle and Dragons really is. Like, this is just the best way to get me into this. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, I want to fill in the next jigsaw hole and move on to the next dungeon. I have to beat the Paradox Officer. Paradox seems like a shady organization mm. that had something to do with the world turning into a goddamn puzzle piece thing. Uh, Alright. Probably going to wind up fighting this guy with orbs. Here we go. Alright, what is he? Does he have cronies? Yep. Oh, got to get past his cronies first. All right, let's set all of you on fire. Um, best way we'll go. Boom, boom. There. Yep, that'll that'll be good. Handled. Yeah, that's that's gonna hurt him real bad. Eat shit. So yeah, it seems like this one is different in how you manage the skill point things, because like if you're maxed out, they're just kind of going to waste. Right. Instead of like the Mario one, where you're just kind of waiting for those to pop. Uh huh. Wait, that was it? There, uh, I didn't have to fight the guy That's proper? your whole boss fight. Oh, that guy sucks. You know, these are monster trainers or something. They're not... They don't fight for themselves. That's it's, right. It's like Pokemon. You're not fighting the evil Pokemon mm -hmm. guys or whatever that is. Looks like Team Rocket is blasting off again. It's going back to Zed City. So, yeah. Uh, you get eggs in this one. I have not gotten any yet outside of the first three they give you. Just as, like, your starter yeah. elemental guys. We'll see if I actually get some eggs here, because then I can take it back. Oh, look! I filled in a piece. Nice. The world is becoming whole again. I kind of like the fact that this is so different than the Mario thing. Yeah, that's great. If it was just the same thing reskinned, then you know, yeah. that'd be a little less appealing. Yeah. So, yeah, this is kind of like just the HQ area where there's a lot of people you can talk to. Uh, yes, I was able to defeat him. <laughs> I like that let you lie about it. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, I lost. I suck. Uh, all right. Defeated the Paradox Trooper. The Jigsaw Chasm. All right. Head uh, to the Temple of Wood. I'm falling a double wood Luigi. Mm-hmm. Okay, come to the mountains, go south, for the Jade River. I mean, this all seems like pretty light RPG stuff. Sure, you know, It's yeah. just stuff that gets you to the next puzzle thing, but it's still kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's see if I got any eggs. Because there's an egg hatching device that you have to take stuff to, and then you hatch your little buddies. Mm. So, uh, like, here's like a VR thing. You can go in and practice, like, advanced combos and stuff. Uh, let's see, will this guy take me? No, I want to hatch eggs. Do I not have any? Uh, I might not actually have any. But yeah, there's this whole item section here. I don't know what these do yet. Um, yeah, it won't really tell me. Hmm. Again, I think that kind of unlocks later. That whole first world of Mario kind of Right, yeah, that's stuff. unlocking. Like the Toad House 
barely has anything in it when you first go there, and yeah. you know you kind of have to unlock things as they as they teach it to you. Yep, and that's kind of where I am here. Like I said, I've only done just kind of like the tutorial stuff and the first kind of couple areas of this one. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like there's a lot going on in this game. That's cool. Um, I don't know if I can actually view the whole map from here. Okay, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's stuff in this game. You probably go to the Dragon Lab to hatch stuff, I bet. Yeah, let's do, is that in there? Let's see, do I just go over here? I'm curious to see. I don't think I actually have any eggs, though. Let's see. Yep, okay, so here's where you hatch. I don't think I have anything, though. Yep, Zeus, the egg hatching machine. Uh, anything? I am Zeus. Absolutely. Yes. I don't have eggs. But, yes, if I had eggs, that's where I would do that. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if these are stores. A lot of this stuff is like, oh, come back later when, you know, whatever. But, yeah, um, that's Puzzle and Dragons yeah. uh, with Mario Brothers. It just seems like a thing to where this is a cart or download you would... It's good to have in your 3DS to just pop up and play anytime for a real quick thing. Yeah. It seems like yeah, there's yeah. a lot of game here. Like, I honestly, I'd be shocked if I put less than like 50 hours or something into this. Just it's, from the looks yeah, of it. I wonder how long that stuff takes. Yeah, it, it's yeah, uh, it seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm tremendously impressed so far. And again, I'm only like three or four hours in right mm -hmm. now, uh, so can't give enough of a thumbs up to this so far. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me, Jeff. Yeah, cool. Thanks, man.